Absolutely. Well, look at this. Down mm. trees and power outages. We all remember this. They were rampant across New York City just a year ago as Tropical Storm Isaias brought lots of damage to the area last August. Hard to believe it's been a year yeah. already. News 12's Katie Vasquez spoke with emergency officials about how they learned from that weather event. From East New York to Canarsie and Midwood. On August 4th, 2020, down trees were a common sight as Tropical Storm Isais ripped through the area. New York City's Office of Emergency Management was prepared, but said the storm threw a curveball. Isais presented a much different challenge, so we were able to uh, work to improve our down tree task force plan. The combination of trees and electrical lines down posed a problem. Our first responders can't really move trees if they're wrapped up in power lines because we don't know if they're live or not. So we really send, send combined teams out now to make sure that we can expedite that process and really work safer. OEM worked closely with Con Edison to organize plans for the future. The power company called it the second most devastating storm in its history. A spokesperson tells us in a statement, in part, we have established retainer relationships with contractors to guarantee 325 workers during events and bought 90 trucks, allowing us to have contractors from outside the region fly to the area and start work more quickly. While flooding was not a major concern, crews responded to typical problem areas and were able to run through flood protection measures as an exercise. We are in the midst of hurricane season, which runs until October. Officials say looking at ways to make the city more prepared. In Red Hook, Katie Vasquez.